Howdy folks. Saturday morning shave. I've got another item that my uh, wife found at a thrift store. You might find kind of interesting. It's from Old Spice. If you've ever seen one of their steins. And I don't know if I can get it to focus right there. It's where it says Old Spice. Another inexpensive find. I think it was 99 cents. Pretty cool. Today what I'm shaving with is from Facebook. There is a group called Shavet World. And if you was a member when the Shavet came out, you was able to get one of them. It takes half blades from a DE. And today's blade is going to be a shark. Already pre-cut. It's already loaded in the Shavette. What I have is a hot mug a mug with hot water in it and sometimes I put the uh, blade into my Shavette in there to help warm it up. Sometimes it helps with the shave it seems like to me. Um, the uh, soap I'm going to be using today is a uh, long rifle Hawkeye. And it's a, uh, yeah, citrus, cedar, and lavender is the scent. Uh, got a little wild with the uh, lather this morning, so you can tell this is not a waterproof label. The uh, pup comes, this one here came in a three ounce size. I kind of like the two and three ounce size. Uh, usually at a lower price point, means I get to, I guess you might say, sample more soap and scents. You can see I've already been using uh, my baby spoon to scoop out some soap. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's not hard like a Williams. Uh, not soft like uh, a Cella. Uh, this is uh, somewhere in between, but it's still a relatively soft soap because uh, that's just pressed in there. Really easy to scoop soap out of there. The brush that I'm using today is Omega S. It's got a synthetic, the color kind of makes you think of a, a boar hair brush, and whipped it up in a bowl, you can kind of see the grooves in there. I've already taken the bloom water, as you can see, applied it to the face. Um, yeah, this is a little bit on the creamy side. It didn't take very long to get this kind of bloom water. You just put some warm water in there. And I really like this soap. This soap is uh, it's pretty nice. You may not see a whole lot of it out, out there. It's out. It's on Etsy. Um, here's my aftershave. Using the citrus musk to go right along with it. Got my album block with the rubber band. This is a Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And off camera, I'll be using the Cremo Beer Balm. And if you haven't seen one of the videos, that's the color. So, kind of helps the color stay the way that it is, not turn it yellow from the beeswax. And my uh, Witch Hazel of the Day. Go ahead and get lathered up here. Yeah, there's plenty of lather. It is. This soap, I, I've used it before. I have no issues with long rifles, so... To me, I think... Uh, a person, whether they uh, one person likes the scent, another may not like a scent from whatever soap maker. You know, that sort of thing's, I think, more subjective than... Did the soap perform? Was there enough slickness and cushion to get a smooth, comfortable shave? To me, it seems like uh, a real test on how much slickness or cushion using a shave bed or a straight razor. I have found that. Uh, 
lathering up like this, a little bit on the moist or wet side. Uh, I don't have quite the problem getting my shave bed or even a straight razor to go through uh, my lather. Before, when I was shaving with the DE, I had it kind of thick, a little bit more on the dry side. And with the DE, it was just fine for me. But then when I switched over and started sh shaving with the Shavette, uh, like the one gentleman mentioned, he said uh, it felt like he was trying to put it through sludge. And I kind of experienced the same thing that, you know, I had to change my lather because it seems like, you know, it does work better if it's more of a moist or a wet type lather. We'll go ahead and get started with uh, pass number one here. But, uh... Long Rifle does offer, uh, she does offer her soap in a, um, a, um, larger size, if I remember right. Sorry, I, I was focusing in on the, the smaller ones, and that's, that's kind of my tendency, because I, um, really do like the two or three ounce size ones. Like I say, it's at a lower price point. I get to try more of them on, you know, trying to stay within a certain budget, dollar amount. You can kind of tell, at least I think so. You're able to go right back over the same spot as if the shaving cream was, you know, visible. That's got that kind of slickness, at least for me it does. I don't have to... Uh, if you watch a lot of videos, especially, um, uh, I see more in the way of uh, straight razors. I don't see very many people shaving with a shave that making videos at least. Uh, the, uh, I only stretch a certain amount. I used to stretch quite a bit. In other words, stretch my skin as far as I could stretch it. And I found that I get irritation really easy when I do that. So my stretching is just, how can you say, ever so slight. <laughs> it works better for me. This, um... Shave head, I don't know if you noticed it or not, on the scales. Move my fingers out of the way. It's got knobs on it, on the other side, you see, it's got screws. In other words, you can take a common screwdriver, put it in there, loosen it up, tighten it up, adjust it the way you want it. You'll have to work with it, figure out what works for you, untightening or loosening it up. Uh, right now, mine is uh, is pretty loose. Works for me. I don't have a problem with it. it. Makes it that much easier and quicker for me to move it, move the scales where I want it to be. You might have seen a, a few postings of straight razors where, you know, they may have uh, more or less worked a little loose. It's not near as tight. Put a pencil or something in there to prop it up. Loose doesn't bother me. To me, another benefit of having a, uh, being able to get soap that's in a two or three ounce size as opposed to maybe a one ounce or less sample size is, uh, if you're a, uh, person 
that believes certain scents are for certain times of the year might give you more of an opportunity to use it up before the next year and uh, artisans sometimes will come out with a same scent let's say peach for instance but it might be virgin version 1.5 or whatever the case might be in other words they've tweaked the formula just a little bit the uh, scent itself might be the same but the soap has changed they've added an ingredient or two or whatever the case might be and hopes to help improve the performance of the soap and post face post face feel whatever they happen to do gives you an opportunity at least not to have a full size puck that you still got to work through and he came out he or she came out with a new one that you really want to try but you get this four or five eight ounce size one whatever the case might be and you still got three quarters of it left over with a two or three ounce size and may have a better chance of getting through it depends on how many how many soaps you have not that I don't like a variety of soap but I have a tendency to want more in the hardware I like hardware different experiences with the Chevettes go years down the road with them razors injectors Task number two. I guess you might say overall I like the variety of experience of different shavers and soaps. To a more, uh, as time goes on, uh, that is another thing about like beard balm. Um, some of this stuff seems to last quite a while. So having not very much of it is doesn't seem practical right now unless I get it in a smaller size. Because this is all the facial hair I have now. If I had my full beard back, I'd go through it a lot quicker. Don't really have a shark blade pre-cut. It is a little bit different than if you were to take a shark super chrome DE, snap it in half. This feel, this blade feels a little different. I usually, um, when I compare in my mind what the feel was in between blades it's against the grain for me to me that's the real telltale sign on a blade and if you do uh, one with the grain and two across the grain and you don't do against the grain pass nothing wrong with it it's whatever works for you because I can understand that um, uh, depending on how your hair grows that what is typically referred to as two uh, across the grain might actually be against the grain for you Pretty smooth shave. 
So far I don't think I've irritated anything. At least nothing out of the norm. Just shaving sometimes uh, just irritates certain spots, but it's just for the moment. You may notice I go this close to my eyes. I've got a few whiskers up there. Have to catch them every once in a while, otherwise, you know, they're quite noticeable. I don't remember, uh, don't remember them being there in my younger days. It might be getting older and getting, you know, how hair ends up everywhere where it didn't used to be as you get older. Alright, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do a light rinse and get ready for the Allen block. See how the shave went. For me, I refer to it as the report card. Sometimes I can tell when I uh, me got a little bit too much pressure. irritate the skin a little bit but usually it's not so bad that I feel like I really need to uh, miss a day of shaving it's kind of like a, I watched the video of uh, um, Manic 59 Sharpologist mentioned that uh, he, he stopped after uh, if I remember right it was the second pass and decided that that was good enough. He didn't want to risk irritating his skin, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like if you're shaving, and all you need is a two-pass shave to be happy with your shave, then that's all you need. Another comment was made to my Allen block. I wipe it off on my towel. Then I put it right back in the container, close it up. It's been a theory of mine thinking that if I uh, continue on um, with that theory, that my Allen block is going to be all right. We'll find out. I've been doing this for, what, two, three months now? For a while. Just wipe it off on my dry towel, put it back in there, and so far everything's looking okay and working fine with my Allen block. And, uh... You can kind of tell, and this is just usual for me, after I shave, I may get a little red right there, but outside of that, that's always red, it seems like, especially after I shave. Shave went pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and follow up with my uh, witch hazel. I definitely use the witch hazel on the, my head. My head is... Uh, Doesn't have a whole lot of hair on it. I usually don't wear a hat anymore. And uh, kind of helps with the uh, keeping the skin healthy. I'm always scraping my head, getting in and out of the vehicle, tree limbs, whatever the case might be. It's always getting scraped, it seems like. Go ahead and touch base again. Shaver of the day. Shave at World, Shave at. It had a shark pre cut blade, soap of the day, long rifle, Hawkeye, Omega S brush, still got plenty of lather left for a few more passes, beard balm is going to be used off camera. That's what the restrictor size looks like. For the citrus, musk, this is an awesome scent. Hope everybody has a good shave. Everybody's safe. Our weather came through last night, lots of lightning, 
heard a house got struck, hit the gas line, caught fire in the attic. Hopefully nothing like that's happened to you, but until next time, smooth shaves.